This video demonstrates how we can retarget motion to new characters. Most motion for animation, such as this motion capture data, only applies to a particular character. When used with a different character, important constraints on the motion are violated. Traditional per-frame methods can re-establish these constraints, but can also introduce undesirable frequency content. Our space-time constraints method re-establishes the important constraints on the motion, but limits the frequencies added. Limiting the frequencies too much creates overfitting, causing the wide, but very smooth, foot swings. Proper frequency limits produce better results. The same methods can adapt a motion to a character whose size is changing. In this example, we allow the solver to reposition the foot plants to create more natural stride lengths. This climbing example includes constraints on both the hands and feet. All of these constraints are violated when we apply the motion to a differently sized character. Our method can adapt the motion so the small character can climb the big ladder. We can also adapt the climbing motion when the character is changing size. This example shows ways that our methods fail to achieve acceptable results. The single simple frequency limit for all parameters causes undesirable twitches when different parameters have different needs. Also, the lack of balance and posture constraints can lead to unnatural motions. Swing dancing is a more successful example. The characters must stay on the floor and hold hands. Changing to a smaller female part violates the constraints. We can adapt the female's motion to re-establish the constraints, but she is not tall enough to remain connected to her partner in a natural way. We therefore allow our solver to adjust the motion of both characters. The male accommodates his new partner. Here, we compare the three motions. Adapting both motions allows the male to respond to changes in the female. Finally, we consider adapting a human skipping motion to a rigid can. First, we adapt the motion to a human with the proportions of the can. Next, we attach this altered motion to corresponding points on the can. Solving computes a motion for the can that mimics the human skipping motion.